Grip tape is one of the best mods that you can do in order to improve your gaming mouse. Have you ever felt like your mouse was too slippery because the coating just felt slippery? You can combat that by putting on grip tape on your mouse here. And when you do put on grip tape, it helps prevent from you feeling like you're about to throw your mouse off your desk. So you can put grip tape on the sides here, uh, the back and the main buttons and even the side buttons too, right here. Putting it on the sides help with just holding it in general and then putting it on the back right here helps fill out your palm more. And then the main buttons and side buttons are just there to extra measure, extra grip. So the ones I have are the core pad grips, BTL grips, the ghost grip, and the lizard skin. So the core pads are $9.99, the BTL grips are $11.99, the lizard skins, depending on what color variant you get, they're either $13.99 or $14.99, and the ghost grip sheet is $9.99. Core pads only have pre-cut models, BTL grips have pre-cut models and DIY sheets, lizard skins and the ghost grips are only DIY. DIY sheets as well. There are many different cool designs that you can get in order to express your aesthetic taste, but if you're not into that, you can just get plain colors like black or white. So if you do buy a DIY sheet, I recommend using a painter's tape and putting that on your mouse to trace the piece that you're about to cut with a dry erase marker, Sharpie, whatever, you know, whatever writing utensil you have. Then you put the piece of tape onto the DIY sheet and you just cut it and yeah, grab that piece of tape and put it on your mouse. While all models of grip tape share the same purpose, they don't share the same level of grippiness. From greatest to least grippiness, core pads for sure. Then next up is lizard skins, then BTL grips, and then at last is the ghost grip sheet. Over time, all of these grips will lose their grippiness due to, you know, dust and uh, skin, dead skin cells and things like that. In order to combat that, you can use alcohol wipes and just rub the dirty spot until you feel the same grippiness again. So did grip tape make me a better player? No. <laughs> So as with all of the mods, so like mice feet and grip tape, paracording, and these other mouse pads that you buy for yourself, the same thing applies, that no mod, no tool will automatically make you a better player. It's all about putting in the work, putting in the effort. But in this case for grip tape, it's more about just removing the worry of throwing your mouse across the desk because the coating is so slippery. And that removal of worry improves your gameplay. It's not that grip tape makes your headshot rate go up like 200%. No, 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 no. It's just removing that voice in the back of your head that's saying you're gonna throw this across the room like you're Justin Fields or something. So yeah, I highly recommend you get some grip tape so that way when you're playing first person shooters and swiping your mouse around, you don't accidentally you drop it. Now you're looking to get grip tape, but now you're wondering what kind of skates can I get for my next mouse? So if you're looking for that, then click on this video right here because you have to see these incredible, incredible skates that could potentially be your end game. Potentially. End game is a lie. Don't, don't fall for it.